We are back at it with another gear review, and today we're talking about a brand that I've been wearing for years, and that brand is called Path Projects. I absolutely love the clothes that Path Project has been dropping. A lot of them are made for the trails, but quite frank, I wear them for the trails and the roads. They just produce quality gear. I don't care if you're talking about their tees, their hoodies, their shorts, their hats, whatever they're dropping, it is quality gear that can take a beating, can take the sweat, and will last for a good amount of time. Uh, again, I've been using Path Projects for maybe four years now, and all the gear has held up extremely well, which to me is a huge bonus, especially when you're taking them out on the trails and getting a huge amount of beating on them. If they can last, then I'm gonna like them. Now, before we jump into today's review, make sure you smash that like button and hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Now sit back, relax, and let's learn more about Path Projects. The first item we're going to talk about is the Skies PX 5 inch short. Now first thing I'm going to lay out is this does not have a liner. Uh, one thing Path Projects does is they believe in a base layer, so just your regular kind of a compression shorts and putting a, a short on top of that to give you type of alterations that you're looking for. So keep in mind all Path Project shorts, they do not have a liner, but they do have some fantastic base liners that you can definitely check out and add to this. So the Sky shorts are probably my favorite shorts from Path Projects. They have a bunch of other ones, but these are the ones I'm really enjoying. I love the five inch. Uh, that is my go-to uh, size for any short that I'm rocking. Anything longer than a five inch, I kind of feel like I'm playing basketball again. It's funny, I used to wear longer shorts and the longer I'm running, it just keeps getting shorter. And who knows, maybe one day I'll be wearing those split shorts like some of the other runners. Probably not. The one reason why I love these shorts are the pockets. Uh, you have the three pockets in the back. You have the center pocket that fits an iPhone. Um, it works out perfectly fine and it has no bounce. This might be one of my favorite back pockets for the main reason you put your phone in there and you forget it's there. There's other pockets that I've worn where you're running and it's like bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. And I hate feeling my phone bouncing on my butt. And I know probably what you're saying is, well, leave the phone at home. I like having my phone, one, to take pictures, and two, just in case I get lost, what if I break my leg, I can call somebody. So for security purposes, I like having a phone. The other two pockets I really enjoy are the side ones because they are zippered, which is perfect, and can hold gels, they can hold my keys, they can hold my salt tabs. Those are a clutch for me because one thing I hate more than anything is if I'm going out on a trail run and I lose any of my stuff. Keys are a huge thing. I can put my keys in here, I don't have to worry about them. But more so like my, my gels and my salt tabs. If you're running out on the trails and you're going for that big run, the last thing you wanna do is go reach for that salt tab or those gels and be like, crap, they're not there. And definitely Path Projects definitely answers that concern. Three pockets in the back, they sit really well on your body. And honestly, you can put gear in there, go for the long run and not feel it. And that's important to me because not every run that I wear, I wanna wear a pack. Sometimes I wanna wear a handheld and just have the, those right there. And the other thing is, I love that I don't have to wear a band around me. Some shorts, I still have to wear a band because I have too much to handle to put in the shorts. The Sky shorts answered the bell. The next item up is the Cascade short sleeve. Now I have a handful of these. But these are the two ones I love. The newest one I actually got for Christmas. It was Chase the Summit. Uh, he's another YouTuber, does fantastic work on you know technology and running, but also just the shoe reviews as well. But Chase the Summit, this tee is so nice to the touch. The one thing you're always gonna hear from me is the materials Path Projects use, top notch. They feel great to the skin. And when you're sweating, it looks like this is just a regular t-shirt that I'm wearing. It's not. The materials they're using will wick away the sweat so you don't feel heavy. You know, the one thing I do want to say about both of this, this shirt, Chase the Summit, and then the Kafuzi one, the non-elite runner, both shirts I've been wearing a ton of, they just perform extremely well. They are not fitted. These are definitely more relaxed fit shorts, shirts, hoodies, whatever you're rocking. They, this whole line is definitely more relaxed fit. And I dig that. A lot of times when I'm running, especially out long on the, the, 
the trails or even on the roads i don't always want to feel tight sometimes it's nice to have something that's a little bit more relaxed fit so that when i do want to get the sweat off my brow i can pull it up uh and also it just doesn't stick to my skin honestly both of these tees have been put through the ringer the ringer miles after miles after miles falling in through creeks falling down trails uh you name it game left in my car and they just perform extremely well the other thing and i don't think path project actually mentions this it doesn't hold smell this kafuzi shirt has definitely been through a lot a lot i think i left this in my car for a week after a trial run and it still did not hold on to the stink which is really nice one thing i hate about a lot of shirts that look like more like t-shirt material not that tech material is it can hold on to your smell and even when you wash it after wash it sometimes after a while the stink stays there or the armpits start going and that kind of sucks now while i love these shirts they're not perfect the one thing I do want to point out, sometimes when I wear a pack, it, you start rubbing a little bit and that will make the shirt peel a little bit. Not a deal breaker, but definitely something you want to know. These are types of shirts that I'm wearing when I'm ma mainly wearing a handheld out on the trails. Uh, they work well with the pack, but again, just keep in mind, you might get some of that rubbing right there. You won't get chafing, but the shirt just might look a little peely. Uh, a little, besides wearing these out on the trails, I'm absolutely wearing them to work on a daily basis and just to hang out with the family. Again, the Cascade shirt feels great to the touch. It looks fantastic on the body and it performs extremely well. The next item up is the Peronese long sleeve hoodie. These are probably my favorite thing that Path Projects has developed out of all of their gear. Hats, shorts, tees, tanks, whatever it is, the hoodie, hands down, my favorite item of everything that I've worn from them. The reason why I love this is it is so freaking comfortable. The one thing I, I hate about this shirt is it's so freaking comfortable, I don't actually want to wear it out on the run. I do, but then I regret it because then afterwards I'm done my run, I want to put back on my Pyrenees hoodie to relax in, and it's gross and sweaty and dirty, and I got to go put it in the laundry. These perform extremely well. They are more, again, relaxed fit. Steam of Path Project, definitely relaxed fit. You can see it on my body. This is a medium that I'm wearing. I have this hoodie on almost every color. The gray, the blue, the green, the black. There's another color out there. Probably going to pick that up too. Because I just really like them. I work in the tech industry and I work from home. And I probably wear one of these almost every day. Unless I'm in a meeting. They fit extremely well. And while I joke that I love to wear them to relax, they do perform extremely well on the trails as well. Uh, one thing I do enjoy about the Pyrenees hoodie is you have hand pockets right here, and there's a little slit for your watch, which is really cool. This was actually the first time I ever wore a long sleeve that had a little hole for my watch, uh, which is really nice because when it is cold out and I am running in this, and this can handle the cold, I don't wanna have to pull my sleeve up, okay? Okay, because that gets annoying. And after a while, your hand gets cold, your wrist gets cold. Having that little slip right there for my, my watch has been extremely clutch. I've worn these for a lot of my runs. Um, again, when the temperatures get really cold, I wear the Cascade short sleeve as my base layer. I throw this on top and I'm good to go. I probably wore one of these once in the 30s, 20s. Anything a little bit lower than that, I do think uh, you want to up to the warmer version of the Pyrenees. This is the lighter version. Uh, that I've taken, I have one of those as well. I've taken it in the 20s to the high teens. Anything again, lower than that. I definitely wearing like a windbreaker on top of it. But again, this can definitely work as a the outer layer or the base layer, depending on the temperatures. It really just performs extremely well. Again, same thing I'm going to say about the Cascade T. I love it when I'm wearing a handheld. I hate it sometimes when I am wearing a pack. It does start peeling a little bit. Again, this looks like it is just a t-shirt, but it is not. It has other performance materials inside of it that let you to handle the sweat. So again, it performs extremely well. It looks really good. And hands down, and if it's seven day work week, I'm probably wearing this most days of my work. And my wife's usually stealing it. This hoodie has been a hit for my whole family and definitely my favorite piece out of everything.
But there you have it. Those are the pieces from Path Projects that I absolutely love. And if you're looking to get your trial season off to a great start, definitely check out some of this gear from Path Projects. You will not regret it. The one item you're probably going to say is, Cody, you didn't talk about the hats. You didn't talk about the hats. This is my favorite Path Projects hat. This is, again, the Kafuzi hat. I've been wearing this a ton. You can probably see the sweat stains. I just don't know if they make it anymore. If they do make this, snag it up right away. You will not regret it. It is going to be probably your favorite hat, like it's been for mine. But again, I don't know if they still have this specific hat. There might be a hat in the, in the works, but definitely I do love their hats. Uh, but again, never know what exactly is in stock. But those are the three items I'm recommending. The Pyrenees hoodie, the Sky shorts, and the Cascade short sleeves. Those are three staples in every wardrobe that you're going to need to hit the trails. So thanks for checking out this latest review. Definitely go check out Path Projects. And until next time, see you out on the run.